हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक क्लासिकल रिपोर्ट इवेंट्स एंड वी विल कंटिन्यू द इवेंट एट सिलेक्शन स्क्रीन आउटपुट इवेंट एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव रिटर्न द लॉजिक टू मेक दिस थ्री थिंग्स इनएक्टिव दिस लेबल ऑफ करेंसी दिस इनपुट फील्ड ऑफ करेंसी this multiple selection button of currency we make these three things inactive based upon the condition that if check box is not selected now we have a shortcut also i will say shortcut logic also for the same suppose simple suppose i have written a logic to make this as inactive i have written a logic to make this as inactive i have written a logic to make this as inactive now rather than going for these three things can we have a shortcut logic for the same yes we have a shortcut logic also for the same and project yes always always prefer that kind of logic it's your wish anyways however you want to go you want to pass names individual names yes it's your wish but we have one shortcut also for the same what is that shortcut that shortcut concept we will tell it as modif id if i will tell what is the name of that concept that is called as modif id now what is this modif id suppose say we want to make this this particular thing this this one this one this one as invisible whenever our program is running for the first time means our selection screen is coming for the first time and whenever we will select this check box these three things should be visible whenever we will deselect this check box these three things again should be invisible so what we will do for this hole for this hole what is the name of this what is the name of this select option s underscore curve we will assign a modif id the keyword is modif id you can give any name after that it is totally totally your wish suppose i am saying modif id is cur you can give any name it's total total your wish whenever you are assigning modif id it means this cur modif id is assigned to this also is assigned to this also is assigned to this also it means there is no need to go for separate name of this separate name of this and separate name of this so writing the logic in this way is very very easy very easy there will not be any any kind of mistakes suppose while doing copy paste there might be a mistake in these names but if you will go for modif id concept there is no chances of the mistake at all anyways it's total your wish how you want to go so what i did as i assigned the modif id cur to this select option it means this modif id assigned to this also assigned to this also assigned to this also now what we will do we will check in the debugging mode that that when we assign the modif id it is going to which particular column of screen because ultimately yes each and everything is coming into screen so what we will do i will put a break point and you will understand fully now rather than writing the logic in this way screen hyphen name is this 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 we will write the logic based upon the modif id whatever the modif id we used again i will show in the debugging mode and we will write the logic for the same and this is most preferred way 
because in this case the chances of mistakes are very less so what i will do i will put a break point extremely important concepts from the projects i will run suppose i will comment this logic okay no problem there is no need for comment i'll show you like this now we will go for screen hyphen name so i will do f5 f5 okay i will ignore this this is our order date this is our this low value of order date this is our two this is our high value of order date payment mode this is our low value of payment mode multiple selection of payment mode now we have currency next if i will show you now screen previously you have written the logic based upon this based upon this now just see we assigned the modif id but the modif id we gave cur have you seen cur is automatically coming into group 1 group 1 now i am going next i am going next i am going next i am going next now cur assign now we will go next now you can see if this particular thing also assigned with which particular modif id now cur now this particular thing this particular thing multiple selection button also assigned with modif id what cur so now it is very very easy to write the code now you are not going by names by copy pasting yes copy pasting this big names yes my the chances of mistakes are very well more ch more chances of mistakes yes but now we assign the modif id and that modif id is going into which particular column of the screen group 1 so can we write a logic for the same we assign the modif id to this as suppose i will if i will come out we assign the modif id to this particular select option itself it means this modif id is assigned to each and every part of the select option whatever the label is there whatever the low value is there whatever the high value is there whatever the multiple selection button is there so this is the best way so always always make use of modif id anyways it's your call at the last how you want to write the code because suppose if i'm running the program if i want to they make this particular thing visible or invisible it means i need to consider this also i need to consider this also this also this also if multiple selection button is there i need to consider that also so rather than going for five rather than going for five if condition this 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 if we have multiple selection button also can we go for modif id because that modif id assigned to each and every part of the select option and it is going to which particular column of that screen structure group 1 just now we saw in the debugging mode so always always prefer this particular modif id concept important question from the interview perspective yes most most important question now rather than writing the logic in this way we can simply simply write suppose i will comment this part i will not delete this and whenever i will write the logic in this way you will be understand very fully yes now there is no need for this big logic we we'll simply write now screen hyphen what is the column group 1 is equal to what the modif id we gave c u r i will check the syntax and i will activate 
to see how much easy logic is this. Okay. Now, if I will run and show you, you can see we have same to same output is there. If I will show you in that debugging mode, because modif ID assigned to each and every part of that currency. Now, if I will show you screen, hyphen name, we will ignore this first. We will ignore this. Now we will ignore this. It will directly go to group one. It will check the group one. As of now, group one CUR is not for other things. This is payment mode. Payment mode. Now we have the currency. If I will show you, this is the currency. Have you seen what is the group one currency? So this if condition, true. Make it inactive, modified. Then we have next thing. Yes, if I will show you now screen. You can see. What is the modif ID now? I will just go next, next. Modif ID CUR. Now this is low value of currency, low value of currency. Again, what is the modif ID CUR? Now, again, if I will go for multiple selection button of currency, yes, again, what is the modif ID CUR? And it is going to which particular column of current, which particular column of screen group one. Now done. Now you can see this is the best way to write the logic. Right? Anyways, last call is yours. How you want to go? You want to check the individual names or you want to go for modif ID. Very, very important concept. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, what we studied, rather than writing the logic based upon the name consideration, what you can do, you can write the logic based upon modif ID also. Whenever you are writing modif ID and some name to the modif ID, that modif ID is assigned to each and every part of that particular thing, particular selection screen element. Suppose we gave modif ID CUR. So it means it is assigned to this part also. It is assigned to this part also. It is assigned to this part also. Suppose if we have two label also, if we have high range also, that modif ID is assigned to each and every part, each and every part. And it is going to which particular column of the predefined structure screen group one. So we simply put the logic. If screen hyphen group one is equal to that modif ID, we simply, simply make that things inactive. Now the same requirement, we need to proceed further and we will continue in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.